What's up everybody, welcome to Grizzos Cards. Got a hot new product release for you today. We have the 2021 Topps Heritage Baseball Blaster Box. Just got dropped off by UPS a few minutes ago. I uh, ordered these from Target. I saw them pop up online last week. Uh, the hobby boxes don't actually hit stores until Friday of this week, the 26th, but I did see something about they were hitting I think many stores were starting to get them in like Walmart and Target. So I went, yeah, I went ahead and pulled the trigger when I saw them online at Target. Uh, I told myself I wasn't going to buy any Heritage this year. Just didn't really care for it last year. I think it was just with the black borders. It was, I felt like every time I sleeved them up, I was chipping corners. So uh, hopefully I know it's a, they got the 1972 design to this year. So it's a white border. So hopefully it is. A little bit better than last year so it looks like in a blaster box we have a total of 72 cards so i'm not sure how many packs that is oh there we go seven packs plus one extra pack not really sure oh there we go look for limited and exclusive 1972 venezuela stamps so i'm not sure if that's what's in the extra pack or not um i haven't really taken a deep dive into the checklist of this set to see what rookies are in it I do know it's a 500 card base set uh, and then the last 100 cards are short prints and then of course with heritage there's all kinds of different variations where there's error cards um, names are missing and so forth but the nice thing is I'll show you here if we do find any that you do get a description on the back so I'm like other tops cards where there's photo variations you don't have to look for the tiny code on the bottom it'll actually say on the back of the card so all these packs are built out the same so I'm not really sure what the extra pack means but let's just go ahead and get ripping and see what we find while I'm getting this first one open I just want to thank everyone for their support of the channel if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button Got a ton of views on my last video of the pickups from my card show. So I think you guys like that. So I'll try to do that every time I hit a monthly show. So we got Dominic Smith, Austin Slater, Victor Reyes. Oh, there we go. Joey Votto in action. I did see the checklist. I was looking to see what Reds players are in there. Um, it's like they have two different shots like in the numbers. Like I think maybe it's 45 and 46 for both Joey Votto. This is the in action one. We have a Dodgers postseason, Adalberto Mondesi, Seth Lugo, and Luis Alvarez. So it doesn't look like, I'm just going to take a quick scan here, the numbers, no short prints in that one. And from what I saw online, I think if there are any of the variations, um, you should see something right around the number there indicating that it's a variation. Like it might say a nickname or error card. Of course, there's also different borders that you can get, and there's some chrome cards as well. I do know there's nothing of my favorite player, Barry Larkin, in this set, but it looks like there's some pretty cool Johnny Bench autographs and relic cards um, that are available. I doubt we'll get any of a blaster pack. Uh, then we got Trevor Bauer. <laughs> I did see, I was looking to see what reds were in the set, and it's a lot of reds that are no longer on the team. Like Freddie Galvez, Trevor Bauer, uh, I forget who else it was. So that one, <laughs> true to 1972 style, looks a little miscut. Maybe they should just start making that one to variations is miscut. So kind of too bad back in, or already in 2021, they haven't figured out the <laughs> miscutting issue yet. So let me know if you're finding any heritage in stores yet. Uh, I did get these again on Target.com. They let you order three boxes. So I went ahead and ordered the three. I noticed they've been limiting uh, the number that you can get, which is good, which hopefully gives more people an opportunity. So, yeah, that's good. I, but I did notice they disappeared pretty much within a day. So I'm not sure if this is an insert or not. Yeah, it looks like NAP, New Age Performers. 24, Casting Hero. We'll throw him in the back right now as our only insert so far. Nikki Lopez, Paul Goldschmidt, and Carson Kelly. I haven't seen any rookie logos on these, so I assume they're 
it will be up there just scanning real quick for any variations there so nothing too great so far which was kind of my experience with heritage last year i opened up a hanger box and didn't really get anything good i did buy a couple of hangers of the high numbers and had some decent pulls i pulled a yadier molina relic and then the ernie banks insert oh there we go we got rookie cabrian hayes that's a nice one that could be a decent card there he's highly tall prospect not too greatly centered on there javier baez got some rookie stars tyson miller jimmy lambert and Tyler Stevenson and William Contreras. Yeah, it's kind of tricky with Heritage because they're all the paper stock. So the inserts can be trying tricky to find sometimes. So let me know in the comments what you think of Heritage. Uh, I know some people really like it. I think it maybe for me it just depends on what year they're doing ronald cunha jr that's a nice one mark perez luis severino got nate pearson in action rookie thyro estrada and there we go luis robert followed by another luis robert that's pretty cool and austin riley just take a quick scan here see if we come across anything well, that's interesting 302 who was that one that was nate pearson maybe that's how the backs of the in action ones show up so Luis Robert not bad but so far we got three packs left um, I was really excited just to get these in I have some new baseball project I have some other stuff ordered um, I got some tins of the 2021 tops I have a box of 2021 Donruss ordered as well uh, but the tins keep getting pushed back so it's in the same order as my Donner's box. So I'm not going to be getting that anytime soon. So this one, Rookie of the Year Award winners, just kind of lists all the winners for the past several years. Interesting card. Typical top thing to do. Uh, Frankie Montas. Archie Bradway. There's another one of the Reds that I saw that is no longer on the team. And Mike Soroka. Let's take a quick scan for... Oh, there we go. The Frankie Montas was a short print. So we'll set them up there. So I've had a few short prints that I got from the 2020 set. Uh, nothing great. I think Charlie Blackman was probably the best, but you know, if you do sell cards, I think I sold most of them on eBay for just a couple bucks, which is not bad. Orlando Arcia, Christian Walker, Christian Yelich in action, Bo Bichette. There's a giant bench, not a relic I was hoping to get. Nathan Avali and Abraham Toro. Just going to take a quick look here and see if anything stands out. Okay, so it looks like actually the giant bench is an insert, so I'll come back to that. So what this is, is a flashback bench hits game tying home run in NCL, NLCS clincher. I forgot what it said there. I was getting ready to say catcher. So I don't know if BFB, what that stands for. Um, maybe it's all Johnny Bench flashbacks. Should be cool. All right, last pack here. Let's see if we can't pull something good out of this last pack. I'd love to get something chrome or something out of this. Something good. We've got Dustin May, Tyro O'Neill, Zach Wheeler. We got some NL RBI leaders. Pretty heavy with the Braves there. Uh, Nelson Cruz in action. Clayton Kershaw. Michael Chavez. Nolan Arenado. And Antonio Senzatella. So I'm going to just take a quick look at the backs of these cards and see if there's any short prints or anything. Looks like we're all in the 300s. I don't see anything around. The numbers indicating anything, so I'll probably take a quick look at these again later. And as you look at cardboardconnection.com, they'll show all the variants. So, twenty bucks is retail price, which I think is okay for this product. So, just to recap here, our two inserts that we got were the Keston Hira New Age Performers and the Giant Bench 
flashbacks. And then we got the Frankie Montas short print, which I thought I saw online that the odds were one in three for short prints. So it's kind of odd that we only got one. So maybe that's just exclusive to hobby boxes. And then we got the Key Brian Hayes in action, which is our top rookie from this box. So I'm really not sure what I'm gonna do with these other two boxes yet. This definitely didn't blow my mind, but it was nice to open something new, especially just paying retail for it. Um, and new product, got it before the release date. Uh, so yeah, let me know if you're picking up anything, if you're having better luck with Heritage. Uh, and stay tuned to the channel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we got more videos coming your way. We'll see you next time.